Hi Career Sighted, I am Anne Lemnitzer and I am a professor in earthquake engineering. As a professor in a research institution, your job consists of teaching and researching in the area of your expertise. There are days that I'm just teaching, on a few days I have designated office hours where students come in, ask homework questions, get ready for exams. I do some lab sessions where the students get the hand-on experience. I design homeworks, exams for the students, prepare lectures. Besides that, I would work on my research projects. That could be from analytical research, meaning using computer programs and running models, to doing experimental testing in the laboratory or outside on a construction site. There are days when I have to work on proposals and grant writing, meet with government agencies, meet with other colleagues to get projects going. You are also publishing your own results in a variety of journals. I do a lot of traveling nationally and internationally for conferences or projects related to my research. Since my field is in earthquake engineering, after every earthquake we usually go into the country to investigate what was damaged, what was performing well, and then bring back the knowledge to the US. In order to be a professor in civil engineering, you start a four-year undergraduate program in civil engineering at a school that's ABET accredited which means the undergraduate engineering program is accredited by a national board in their undergraduate or right after their undergraduate years. Most people take the EIT or the FE exam, it's called Fundamentals of Engineering. A master degree would follow, which can be a one or two year program. You would need to pursue a PhD, be between three and five years, depending on the research that you're doing, so that by the end you are an expert in that field after you gained one to three years of experience. You would take the PE exam, it's the practicing engineering exam, and then you can be a licensed engineer. You are allowed to design buildings of more important categories. And then there is a really high level exam. It's, it could be a structural engineering exam, or it could be a geotechnical engineering exam, or SE or GE license, that's how it's called. And if you have those licenses, you are allowed to design the buildings that have to withstand an earthquake and be fully intact afterwards. Like hospitals or fire stations or jails. Using a civil engineering degree that you got here in the United States is usually valid in the rest of the world. Uh, the better the school that you graduate from, obviously the higher recorded the degree is. Your experience helps a lot also. What I love about this job is the variety. The variety of teaching researching, being creative and engaging your mind on a scientific level at the same time. And I just like the interaction and collaboration that I get with all my colleagues. I was able to develop friendships over the entire world. Thank you, Career Sighted.